Hello, and welcome back to Tavern Tales VR. Now, we are currently on the Alpha build on the Oculus Quest 2, and today we're going to be checking out Second Glance. It is a uh, duet adventure for one player and one DM. It is uh, co-written by Beth Jonathan Ball. You can find it on dndduet.com or the Dungeon Masters Guild. Uh, this is part two in the Crystalline, uh, Crystalline Warrior trilogy. Uh, I have part one also built, First Glance in VR. Oh, I just moved the map of bomb. And we're going to start with a map that I'm honestly not too happy with. Because they have beautiful models for homes. But this is a druid colony. So instead of uh, using their models, I decided to use some of their assets, flatten them out, and uh, build huts from scratch. Uh, it doesn't look as good, but they're not supposed to. Uh, it's supposed to, this, this village is supposed to look kind of ramshackled, thrown together. Uh, that way, when we reach Dusk Hollow, it actually, uh, you can see the difference, which, let's just go ahead and go to Dusk Hollow now. So there's a, a night and day change between the Sacred Wood and uh, Dusk Hollow, where you can see this is actually a small town, large village, uh... We've got the Greenside Tavern, the Crippled Fawn Inn, Salodian's Emporium, uh, the Magistrate's home here. As a, it, they're a little money crazy, I wanted to kind of illustrate their house being a lot bigger than everything else in town. Uh, we've got the farmlands over here, the the stables that are completely empty. Uh, I may reposition them. I don't like uh, I don't like how it's turned. And this is Dusk Hollow. Now, there is an encounter toward the end. Spoilers for this entire adventure, by the way. Uh, in this area, and I have a map built for that as well. It's just a zoomed-in area here. You know what I might do? I might get, get the wolf back here. Put Fog of War on him, because I might use this map for the uh, encounter with the, uh, well, bandits, the poachers that are... Uh, chasing around the uh, Denny. Uh, th that's probably a good idea. I'll go ahead and I will save this. Save. And I'll edit the rest of it later. Now, uh, on the way to Dusk Hollow, they come across two uh, twig and vine blights uh, that the adventure must take on. And uh, if they're really just pressed on finding out what the hell these are and what they're doing outside of town all they'd have to do is walk over here and see hey there's a there's a hole in this clip side over here maybe maybe we should go inside and check it out and uh, that will bring them face to face with Flynn the Fowl he is uh, an acolyte convicted in arm of irresponsible magic use he escaped uh, before he was getting sent to a labor camp uh, so if they go in there, there is a bounty uh, Dusk Hollow has for this man. I might have them find him before they even make it to Dusk Hollow. That way, they won't have to come back later. Uh, this adventure does have a couple side quests. This, by the way, is Garen Bronson. A little tall, but uh, this is uh, the adventure's uh, companion. A plus one, if you will. And uh, this is Flim. I kind of went for a madman vibe here. Uh, I've had this uh, vine blight kind of carrying in uh, supplies for him. Stealing stuff from the local farm while he uh, continues his experiments. Uh, now, uh, let's, let's get the side quests out of the way. This is another side quest. You can help uh, the local farmer. I forget their name, uh, but their in-laws just won't stay dead. <laughs> I thought this was a, a funny little side quest. So yeah, yeah, he's a paladin, so uh, two zombies should be a, a cakewalk for the player. Uh, and then finally, the Greenside Tavern has a shipment that has gone missing. And uh, they, they find the body of the stable master when, when they're searching, and uh, they can eventually come across this go small goblin party that has uh, taken over and uh, drank half of uh, the stock. So uh, four goblins, obviously, for a single-player party, uh, even with one companion, is very dangerous. So uh, the module had it built up where these four are completely shit-faced from the start. Uh, so they all roll with disadvantage. 
I thought it was a nice. Plus, I, my, my player already uh, got through this section of the adventure. Uh, we paused after the first night. Uh, it was a fun role play situation with four drunk goblins, especially because she just stayed behind this tree and was <laughs> waiting to see if they slept. So I had to sit there and role play four goblins drunkenly cussing each other out. It was a lot of fun. Um, Forest encounter. All right, let's go to uh, the magistrate's home. Now this is a two-four. Uh, boom! Here we go. I tried to keep it uh, as close as possible to the module's build as I could. I had no idea what this over here was. I could tell this is supposed to be a section off a room. I had no idea what this was, so I just ignored it and uh, made that a table. Uh, I even have a, a token, a hero token for the bear rug. Uh, you can find a couple things on this bottom floor, but not much, to be honest with you. Most of the stuff is on the second floor. Which I also attempted to build true to form. Uh, also, I just copied the bottom one and built on top of it. Um, so everything is still down below. Uh, and the player character can see that from here as well. Uh, you got information uh, on uh, the, the magistrate's dealings, their greediness, uh, uh, overcharging for the temple's construction, uh, wear bears, uh, everything is on the second floor. Uh, it's very crucial, honestly, that they get this information one way or the other. Uh, so if they, if, if they don't want to go into Luis's home, uh, maybe they find it in another way. Maybe Bertrand has one of these on there uh, in order of making sure, hey, keep an eye on Destiny, you know. Uh, this is a thing of animated armor. Uh, it's not a full uh, suit of armor so that the character isn't overwhelmed. Uh, that attacks the second that uh, they touch the desk. And this is Luis's home. Now for the last bit, we have the Temple of Joaquin. Now I built this into three sections, and the reason I built it into three I'll explain in a moment. Uh, this, by the way, is a fog of war. We can see through it, the player character cannot. It cuts off right here so they can't see the door. Um, statue here. I wish I could, uh, I, I might be able to just use another Hero Forge mini and, and create a statue of Joaquin here, but we'll get back to that. Uh, this is the, the front, uh, section. Uh, the section that was already here pre-construction. Uh, uh, here is, uh, Adwin Court's office, uh, with a suspicious painting that has a door behind it. Now, the reason I didn't just build this room here and have a uh, thing of Fog of War over it is uh, I felt like that was just a dead giveaway that, hey, something's back behind here. Uh, I want them to actually have to work for it. I want them to figure it out. And then if they do, then I'll load a completely different map. Oh, oh, wrong one. I'll load a completely different map uh, that actually has... The survey day in it. It has a uh, the notes they've been taking. They've been experimenting on it, trying to find a cure for lycanthropy. Uh, definitely going to use Denny. Did I did I make this floor too tall? I did. Oh my! I'm gonna have to bring I'm gonna have to bring that down. And then finally. Voila! The construction on the back side of the temple. And that is Second Glance.